go. All that and a little crooked top. Right there. Oh, no, little wrinkled top. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Good job, bud. There you go. Yeah, Remember where it is when we take it down. That's the, that's the one we'll lose. Are you trying to get in there, Ruby? Surprise! Don't do that. Remember, I'm a dino. You're a dino. <laughs> I think this is about as interesting as it gets right here. <laughs> so how many scoops of the dirt? Well, it's supposed to be 10 to 1, so we had to guess 10 to 1, because we fill 10 scoops of there, it would pretty much cover the whole entire bucket. So we did five, five scoops, and then we did half a scoop of the Portland semen. Now I'm, I've pretty much stopped counting because I see where it is at, where the dirt goes or how much, how far it goes up when I put the dirt in. Then I know it's about that much for a tenth of five scoops. Come to realize that if you don't put water at the bottom when we're mixing it up, it's really wet on top and it gets harder and harder as you go down. So I'm putting water at the bottom and water at the top. That's funny. You can hear the uh, CO2 emissions rise. More bucket. This is how Wendy's makes their frosty. Okay. So we had quite a few people out here to help put up the walls. We had some family, friends, and others who wanted to get some experience with the process of building a compressed earth block home. We also hired a kid from church uh, to help out after school a couple days a week. It really helped having another set of hands. We have this interior wall right here. 
And as you can see, part of the bricks here go into the exterior wall. And they do that every other brick. And that is just, um, it's basically like, like Lincoln Logs. Um, you, gotta, you gotta link the walls together. Um, they can't just sit, they're, they're not freestanding walls by any means. But we did not account for it on this level right here, on this top level. We were supposed to have put um, an interior brick right here and we didn't do that so it's just kind of kind of goes with the territory of what we're doing we will fix it and we will learn from our mistake and hopefully not repeat it <laughs> in december the well guys came out to drill our well finally we had been waiting for months turns out there's very little water on that side of the creek the other side was still way too muddy from the crazy rains that we had uh, to drill, so we had to wait again. It's a lot of the same repetition, slurry, brick, level, and while it would be super neat to get shots of everything going up super fast, uh, this has been anything but a fast process given the year we've had. We've kind of adapted to not having a timeline anymore. Heck yeah. <laughs> you can't help me, Dad. A decimal, son of a gun. There's the Simpsons where they're like, you cry at everything, Millhouse. What do you mean, Bart? You cry when you get a decimal in your math problem. Like 
in a butt, huh? <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> it's everywhere. Put it in the toilet. Are you coming? Yeah. Hi, Ruby. Hi, we missed you. Hi, back. Hi, Ruby. You're back? Yeah. Oh, where's your shoes at? Are you home? You don't know? Sometimes it's really hard to not get discouraged. It feels like we get nothing done because we've been at this for so long. Although it's not a race, it's sometimes difficult to not get caught up in expectations. <laughs>